first there was the artist and now the artist's wife, but here she speaks and shows up in color on <laughs> paper reviews. I'm Alan Ng, I'm with Zorina Kid, and today we're reviewing The Artist's Wife. Uh, Claire is the wife of celebrated artist Richard, who is diagnosed with dementia. As his memory and behavior deteriorate, she shields him his condition from the art community while trying to reconnect him with his, his estranged daughter. Uh, it's directed by Tom Dolby, stars Lena Olin and Bruce Dern. Um, you know, I don't uh, generally read a lot about a movie before watching it, and so um, this one really caught me by surprise because I wasn't expecting where it went. Uh, I was expecting a movie about the artist's wife, which it was, but it was very different. But what did, what did you think of, of the film? I I loved it. I, to me, I mean, I know we haven't really gotten into like the main Oscar season and things have been pretty sparse so far, but this is a film that I just, have I would have to say it's one of my favorites so far. Um, I just thought the the story was so just interesting and and real. And Lena Olin and uh, Bruce Dern were incredible. I mean, just these award worthy performances. And together, they really captured the complexities of of a, a marriage that you know has been going on for decades the highs the lows the fights the makeups the sex the career the uh, resentments and it's all in there and it's all on the screen and you really just you really yeah. are falling for this couple like you're really invested in their story and in this storyline I, I thought it was amazing yeah, one thing I I liked about it was the slow burn. Um, you know, Lena Olin is the wife of of uh, or her character Claire is the wife of Richard, and he about probably near the end of the first act, you find out he has dementia, and she takes it upon herself to basically um, not only care for him as he's uh, drifting off, but also trying to uh, tie up the loose ends of his life, which which comes in the form of uh, reconnecting with his daughter. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it was just like, uh, I, for some reason, the, the, the way it played out just caught me by surprise. I just wasn't expecting not only how it played out, but how much I really enjoyed just her performance and the story behind that performance as well. Yeah, she really is the... She's the star here. Uh, first of all, she. This is the two stars are older characters, and it's not you don't really see movies anchored around older characters in Hollywood too much. So that is a little bit of an exception, and um, it's it's a great exception. Should be done more. Uh, and secondly, she is still so beautiful and so classy uh, on screen, and the way she carries herself as she caters to her superstar husband who soon won't remember any of this stuff is 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 quite interesting and beautiful and sad and tragic and and the fact that she is going to such lengths to reunite him with his estranged uh, daughter and the grandson he never met is also so admirable because it'll there'll come a time soon that he just won't even remember that he mm -hmm. has them so it's like you know, and another wife might just go, well, what's the point? It's just not gonna uh, remember. But but if I if I were to say what two crosses this movie is, I would say it, it would be uh, Sarah Pauly's uh, Away With Her mixed in with um, last year's Glenn Close movie, The Wife. Mm -hmm. And I think it just, it has elements of those two and you really see how much the wife sacrifices herself in order to uh, uphold his world and his yeah. art and his, his dignity. Ego. That's the thing you get at the end is just not only that she does it and how admirable she is, but well, I I found two two story paths going on here. One is the wife who takes care of the the husband who's who's ailing but at the same time she finds her own 
uh, spirit, her own inspiration, her own spark, because you find out that she started off as an artist as well. And that, um, and that story plays out in a way that's really, really interesting and really, uh, really caps off the ending. I, I struggle because I can't mention any of that. Yeah, um, yeah. This is also one of those checkbox movies where, you know, we're dealing with a, a, a married couple dealing with dementia. One partner has to make plans for the other one who's, who's slowly fading away. And you hit certain moments, you know, like she, she is tempted in, you know, in with another relationship. Um, she, she has to say, you know, basically save his reputation. She has to, um, you know, reconnect to the family so that, you know, keep his family in order when she doesn't have to since it wasn't even her, her daughter. Yeah. Um, but what I love is, you know, unlike most checkbox movies, they hide it very well and they ingrain it right into that story. And then the art story, art aspect of her uh, helps also to cover that up as well. Yes. Yeah. Very well said. Very well said. And uh, I really also like the music too. There was something about the music that just went really well with the film. The score was amazing. And, um, and selfishly, I admired all the cozy sweaters that she was wearing. <laughs> she had so many great sweaters that um, I was uh, really taking note of that and just kind of going, I want, need to know where she's getting. <laughs> well, because we're getting into colder weather here and I, you know, I wouldn't mind owning some of those sweaters. This movie is so far under the radar. Um, I'm just afraid it's going to get missed. And, and the subject matter is not the most happy. But uh, such a good story, such good performances that uh, it's really worth seeking out, especially if you're a fan of either Lena Olin or, or Bruce Dern. Yeah. And, you know, aging is something that, you know, a married couple that's aging together is definitely something th these types of things are like dementia or other ailments are things to, that one has to consider as you know, you're growing old together with somebody. And uh, but when that somebody is well known, um, it, it might be a little bit more difficult for you to seek out help in dealing with it because you don't, you're trying to protect them and you don't want the public to know that they're uh, suffering from dementia, especially when they have a major art show to put on and mm -hmm. the critics are all coming and everyone's been waiting with bated breath to see what your next masterpiece is going to be. So so that, that's why I really like the layers because it's not mm -hmm. just an ordinary couple struggling with this issue. It, it's a it's a it's a rich, famous uh, couple. I mean, as famous as you are, like in the mm -hmm. art world, not like Instagram famous, but <laughs> but um, it's just there were just extra added layers, and uh, I, I really appreciated that. Okay, so you really connected with the movie. You love the acting. You love the story. You saw the layers. I'm going to say you gave it a nine. Yeah, I did. I did. I know you liked it too, but I don't think you liked it as much as I did. So <laughs> I think you're probably going to give it a eight. Yeah, I gave it an eight. It's it's still not Avengers Endgame. So. Uh... <laughs> Oh my God! If the artist <laughs> has to be compared to Avengers, know, that's, that's the bar. That's the nine oh bar right God. now. <laughs> the nine and a half bar, I should say. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Poor indie film, man. Crossing <laughs> your no, path. They have Peter no Brother Falcon came pretty close. So, uh, <laughs> um, okay. So, with that, visit uh, filmthread.com for news and reviews. Like, subscribe, comment below on uh, this film and many of our other reviews. And with that, let's get out of here.